Hey guys, so I just wanted to share my uh, large boat base uh, for the large boat with the rib. It's a very cheap base, it only costs about 9,000 stone, and you do need a gate, whether it's a high stone gate or a high wooden gate, it's completely up to you. And I want to show off my new Canadian hoodie. Isn't that awesome? Got it on the drops today. Okay, so let's get into the build. Now, first thing you're going to do is find a location. And as you can see, the sand is a little bit wider here on the shore than it is in other places. That's just going to make it a little bit easier to put this base down. So we're going to take a foundation and we're going to run it at a 90 degree angle to the shore. And we want to have it just under about a quarter of the way up the uh, diagonals. Deep enough. Let's try here. there. So we can place. Go. We want to have it so the very point is just clipping into the sand. That way we know we're as far up as we can possibly go. show you each of the wall or each of the gates uh, we're going to take away these two foundations and the two holding up these end walls the end walls will stay up because the inner walls are holding them and if you're going to place it you want to place it so it opens outward so for example here's the wooden gate I'll just show you the placement we're just going to place it a little bit out from there so there's a little gap, but it's not wide enough for me to get out through. So that's a pretty good placement. And actually, the way you can tell is if you can replace these foundations. And these two roofs. So yeah, it's a perfect placement. And like I said, it's not wide enough for anyone to get in, so it'll do fine. Okay, now we'll uh, do the the stone one. Now the stone one, it's harder to tell which way it's facing. Uh, if you look up, and you can see that that's the metal is sloping towards you. That means that it will be opening up. So, line up on the middle here. Then we'll go out and we'll place it as even as we can. Just do it right out. Just small gaps, so that looks good. Go in no problem. And those two roofs go in no problem. So, perfect. Alright, so we'll do the rest of the game now. And of course you can fill out the rest of the base however you'd like. I like to have a, a few furnaces inside so you can, if you have this as a farm base up north, you can actually smelt some while you're out farming. There. That allow 
this to place our TC. We're going to place it over to the right as far as we can against that wall because it'll allow us to get a triangle in so we can place more boxes in there. Decorating, interior is all done. So we'll go out and place the roofs. There we go. And up here, I'll we'll just throw a couple boxes so you can put some clothing and some tools up here come in or when you're going out you can just uh, grab and go and that is basically the build hope someone finds this useful uh, please like and subscribe that really helps me out and uh, comment for the uh, algorithm if you will actually open up the door so you can see it and there it is Okay, thanks for watching.